Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liu Yang campaign. We pick things up for episode 3 from turn 15 in the summer season of 193. So, as we hop back in, our max trade-off challenge is still ongoing. We still have maximum trade-offs and it's killing us. But we're almost at the point where we will inherit because we do want to get the most bonuses here before 194 and we'll see how many tasks we can finish before then. My goal right now is to finish at least six of them. There's three more that we're looking to do. Uh, level up the city to level six, which is large city, no 15 factions, and own 10 regions. And the purpose here obviously is to give us good bonuses, and Dildron will take those bonuses for a couple reasons. One, it's really hard to switch air, because you can imagine the satisfaction nightmare if we switch air off we will lose no down for good we'll lose a lot of other characters for good because no down actually gives us quite a bit of satisfaction because he is actually a commander and on top of that we can't i mean there's not on top of that we can't handle upheaval like that given all the trade-offs that we're taking and you know really your leader your future leader their job is to just provide boost right all these local county boosts are for wherever your leader is so they will become sort of this buffing unit where they just walk around and provide boost and provide finished completions of constructions in some of the counties and that's kind of their job. So because of that, we don't really need a good leader. Dildrong is fine, he's a commander, he'll provide a lot of good uh, bonuses for our faction. Okay, so how do we get to that point? Well, we did beat back Sini's army. And we can probably finish him off here because I don't want him to be on the field and maybe take this because if we take this We can get an extra piece of land because right now we're one short because they took that while we are on our way to take bot And speaking of on our way to take bot, we can also take this This is level three Okay, it's a little bit difficult with the number of cavalry, so maybe not Maybe not. Maybe we'll just stick to this. It will be a three turn type of sailing distance here. Hopefully we meet new factions. Nope, Xin Huan Sanjie we already met before, so that's no nothing new. Let's see if he's willing to take one more food, because I don't want a new enemy here. No, no, we're not paying him, he's paying us. Um, maybe 200? Oh, he's more generous than I thought. Okay, 250 maybe. 252. Okay, 251. Thank you. See, if you're playing the game and you wanted to avoid this war we are currently in, make sure on target 11 or whenever your first trade deal ends to give them another deal. And then they won't go to war with you, which is what we forgot to do. That's fine. Uh, we still have, will have enough supplies. Um, if we switch, I don't think we can actually go get them, but Dildrong should actually be recalled, to be honest. He has almost no health. Mm, but I guess he will still provide some delegate value, so I guess it's fine. Ideally, we need more help here. But, you know, we're not at a certain situation where we can do things ideally, so... We'll do what we can. This will give us a little bit of money as well. Um, I don't think we need to fight this. This will be pretty easy to delegate. I trust their delegate values. Indeed. We need money. And this army is going to head back towards the capital without getting caught off. Now the bridges are very nicely placed, so we should be safe. And I'm going to actually recall him for the heal. And this plus... The administrator here should be defensive enough to hold against whatever Utugu throws at us. So we're gonna do a few things here. She's injured. We're gonna recall her. I'm probably gonna recall him as well. I know this rebellion next turn, but that's why Yu Jin is being recalled, so Yu Jin can come here and help him. And then we're gonna get someone to start sailing this way to meet factions, because we need to get to 15 factions as quickly as possible. We also need to upgrade the city as quickly as possible. We have enough money, we don't. It will take about one turn, but then this would also stall us. We almost would want to cancel this.
Hmm, maybe we'll have enough money to rush it and then build this anyways. This is almost timing out, which is a little bit concerning. We got a good weapon. Uh, maybe you can win duels now? You cannot equip it. Only sentinels? Oh, don't tell me it's the special equipped. Because they created this weapon for... Uh, Marshal D, who is it? It's one of those unique generals who starts with this weapon. And he might be the only one who can equip such a weapon. Because you can see the icons of the weapons. And it's actually a Z weapon, so... Uh, they can equip it, right. So think of this as a poem, even though it's probably a short weapon. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, just basically we'll go on... We only have two. We only have one general who's not a. Uh, yeah. He's the only one who can re. Uh, equipped it. We have a bunch of weapons for him. Oh well. So I guess we can't really put that to good use right away. There's a few characters in court. Uh, Zhang Yang. Obviously, he would carry some items since he was a faction leader, but it's just a stone pig. So we're going to pass on these. Uh, these positions are open. We will probably use them next spring when we can get the faction council going because it's ready. Uh, being you know past spring this turn so we can't do much all right so i think everything is settled we can't spend any money anywhere else we're currently exempting them so that we uh would have no satisfaction issues because we jacked up the tax rate not satisfaction public order issues just making sure we don't have anything on the table you know i can actually talk to a and well, give him I one keep... food as well. Maybe even two food. Okay, that's not bad. And that might give us vision of Xiangyang next turn, and hopefully more factions. But let's see where that takes us. And that's pretty much it. Everyone has moved. This fight, I hope they move the garrison away. The unit. Because melee cows are too hard to deal with. But let's continue. Alrighty. Two rebel spawn. Any items? Ooh, Overseer. That's a good one. So we can't reach him this turn, but we'll fight him next turn with this group. And maybe Yu Jin. Over here, did you get any items here? Ooh, silver one, Tycoon. Okay, that's great. So we're obviously going to farm for that. Anyone have patience here in our army? Nobody. So I guess it doesn't really matter who we recruit. Eugene's rank 2. Now, can you guys delegate a win against them? Anyone have Perceptive by any chance? Any chance? Nope. Any new generals with Perceptive by any chance? Nope. So... Gonna be a, a prayer here. Yeah, we can obviously beat them with these two generals, no problem. Hmm... Yeah, he can lead. So we're not gonna delegate. Because then he would die. We would have to leave him alive. Let's just fight this real quick. Alrighty. Eugene can solo this. Although he could give him a boost. Um, yeah, sure. So what we would do is we would move up to like here. You can stay behind. Absolutely no dueling. Alright, hack him a few times. Alright, hopefully we capture him. 
And even if we don't, he lives. Alrighty. Fingers crossed. Got him. He's perceptive. Interesting. We'll take the tycoon from him. And we'll take more money. He's still on the field, which is fine. We'll let him stay on the field. It will help our public order a little bit. And then we can recall him again. Pull him back. And Rizin can come back over here next turn. So for our other two generals... Ooh, guess who we met already? Hello. Now, do you have a family tree that we can take a look at? Do you have a mother who's single? Ooh, what happened to her? You married her away. You married her away. No. Here, let me offer you one food as well. Hmm, how generous are you at two food? Not that generous. Hmm, but you're pretty generous at one food, I have to say. 55, okay, that's fine. Any chance you want anything else with us? We do have a bunch of items though. But this is fine. Alright, how many factions do we know now? We need two more. Okay. So which two can we find if we start sailing this way? We now know... Right. Wait, that's 13. That's... Wait, that's 13 or 14? How many is it? 3, 6, 9, 10, 13. We need two more. Well, if we sell this way, let's see, Sun Tzu is all over here. Wang Zhu and uh, Tai Ma are over here. We probably will bump into a Liu Yao if we get all the way over here. And maybe Cao Cao. Yeah, that might be our hope. So we're gonna raise him, and we're gonna move him into the city, increase her, recall him, have her get into the water, start sailing, find us some new factions, living factions. Oh my god, we just died, I think, unless we can take this. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, so, we must win. We take the land, level 3 city, we loop him, wipe out Utugul's army. But first we have to overcome this and overcome this. It's doable. Let's try it. Every general's weak. We just have front line. They will charge out at us. We have to keep maximum distance. Bombard their cavalry like crazy. Maybe even sacrifice him. To give him a heal. Or vice versa. Let's go. Alrighty. So this fight is not easy. Because we don't have any front line. They have a cavalry that we couldn't deal with before. And we probably still can't deal with it now. So we're going to have to use some tricks here. We're going to have to set some traps. Like, this is our best friend, right? If they can run their cavalry into this, then we're golden. And then if we burn them here, it'll be even better. They will charge out at us, I am almost certain. How do we trick them to running into this is going to be the art here. So, almost certainly, we don't want to expose our units. It'd be even better if we don't show anything and they just put all their units in the center. That may give us the best chance to win this. Because that way we might be able to like, you know, hide our units way back and uh, land a few of shots into the city before they even have a chance to get us. Alright, everyone's hidden. Let's see how they deploy. Yeah, they're way in the back. That's exactly what's going to happen. This will give us the most time. 
But now we're just trying to win this with morale. So I'm gonna like, no, not him. I'm gonna like put him out slightly. You see that they're moving real quick once they see us. I don't know how much damage we can get from this guy before they come get us, but we'll try our best. So the idea is we want to obviously hit everything, but we don't want to burn ourselves. We gotta get out of the tree range. A few of the shots will miss. It will hit the town and then probably start burning. And we want to burn every quadrant if we can. And that's the unit we have to watch out for. Them. Have to fall maybe here. We can't do fire arrows because then we'll burn where we're standing. Or maybe we can, because once they get here, it's it's bad. So it almost doesn't matter. Please hit some of those cavalry, because this, this is a really our only shot at doing some damage here with the misses. What if we send him inside, forcing them to pull back? That might be a way. We can capture the inside for 10 points morale debuff. Are they even affected by night battle here? I guess the other is kind of night battle, but not a lot. We barely have any health, but we're going for it. How much damage can we do? How many? How much ammo can we throw out before it's over for them? That's kind of the goal here. Hopefully, once we start going here, they will turn around, actually. That's my goal. Nope, they're just gunning for me. Very smart, but maybe we're smarter. Maybe we're not. That's our goal. Fire, fire, fire. Why oh, you guys so slow? Seriously? Uh, it's over for them. Okay, so we need to hold here. Maybe right here. And right, we're throwing a few shots that way. Not gonna be enough because they're not bumping into us from that direction. Wait. That's nonsense. Hmm. Well, they, they went back because they saw the. Hmm. He's angry now, but. What's the worth of your anger right here? Charging directly into the cavalry? I will try best. Come on. Follow me. Follow me into this area. There we go. Bump into it. Why is it not killing them? Are you serious? That's not a bump? He legit just walked out. Like, we took a bump. Here. Wow, that's nonsense. Okay. I mean, we're, we're shooting them from the side, which is good. If we could route them, there's still hope. Should 
chase, chase, chase. If there's a chance to chase, doesn't matter if we go through fire. Go, 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 go. See, why did the routing end? Hmm. So now they're routing again. Come on, come on, route. 20 points. You negative 11, negative 11. Put the fire arrow back on them. There we go. Alright, make sure they do not come back. There's still hope. We can burn the town down and, and beat them. Watch them recover and then turn around try to kill us. Still be minus one. Oh, it's plus two. How, see, how does that math work? The minus four goes away and they, they suddenly become plus eleven? Instead of plus four, like it says. Hit them. We barely do any damage, but keep hitting them. Negative two. Yeah, keep them a negative. Don't let them come back. Alright, we, we can still do this. We can still do this. We got plenty of ammo left. And uh, we have range advantage. They only have one range unit left. And after these group sh shatters completely... We can turn our attention back. Oh, they got back to morale. How? We can reset the attack against them. Come on, come on. We're 97 speed, they're 95. We're faster than them. And we're charging at them. Yeah, we can't catch them. Anyways, we got them off the map. Yes, okay. So this is doable, this is doable. All we need to do now is kill that unit with Liu Yan and then burn the rest of the town for morale hits. Somehow they get so many modifiers. Oh, inspired by ability, I can understand. Difficulty modifier, general nearby modifier. Where's the night battle modifier? Where's our minus 15? Anyways. We will turn this around. There's one tower here. And there's one tower here. So there's no empty spot that we can kind of go in. So we have to take damage to burn down this. And then we can at least go through... No. We would have to take damage to... Let this side's play better. What, 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 are, they, what are they doing? Go back. Nice. That burned down. Right, now they're not charging out, which is great. We can route them slowly. Alright, we're gonna have to do something very similar where Lillian has to zigzag over here across. There we go. And then he goes in to shoot at this. And they shoot him. Keep moving, keep moving. Don't get shot, don't get shot. Go back, go back, go back. Ow. Okay. Okay. Now we're in business. They're just the militia like us. Nothing special about them. One volley here. We're gonna try to maximize our damage. So we're gonna let the fire burn. And then we're gonna come over here. 
hit that. It might hit us depending on how far we inch up, but we should be fine. Alright, now we go. That should also burn down the barricade. Burn, burn, burn. Wonderful. Kill this unit off. I stop. He's gonna come to the front door. That's the captain. Don't mess with him. We'll try to use army loss to get him at the end. Nice. Captain's gone. Well, give us a little bit of chain routing discount here. Okay, we got the captain. We got the captain. And the barricade's down, so we can go kill him. Oh, there's this one problem with that, but not a big problem. Alright, let's see if I can kill him. And if he chases us, we'll run out. Alright, we run out. How much morale damage have they taken from settlement? Six points. Not too many. We can change that. Hold on. Which way are they facing? Hmm, they're facing us, so maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not. Hmm, maybe we can shoot these? Alright, we got him to pull back, which is great. Because now we can charge both of these groups. They're both not very good against cavalry. We are a cavalry. He bounced back, but it's fine. This is good. He's on this side now, which means we can go get him. Hello. Where are you going? Nice. Alright, so if we route him, he should take army loss and we should just win this. Don't be shy. Oh no. Oh no. Skirmish mode, skirmish mode, actually. This will actually help. They can only chase a few of us. So if we have more units than they do, skirmish mode is actually quite good at kiting. Alright, we don't want to lose our leader here. No, no, we're so close. So close. Army loss. Alright, alright. We, we can do this, we can do this. Come on, why are you not routing? You have no allies. We have so many more units than you do. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh. He's negative two. I don't know if he'll bounce back in time. He bounced back in time. Go in town. Burn down everything. Hit his morale. Hit his morale. Leave my units alone. Yeah, burn down everything he has. Light it all aflame. Come on, move in. Oh, 
Oh, he's coming back. A draw. Oh, timed out. Wow, that was intense. Okay. All right, we actually had a draw. Like, we actually fought for the full, full 40 minutes. Got some experience. And we're going to go back. We need to take this. Continue. Uh, cavalry's back. My god, the cavalry's back. Um... Yeah, this might be tough. Alright, we'll give it a shot. We can't do anything. Demand surrender? Yeah, right. Alrighty, of course it has to rain now. Hmm. Well... I assume... They will not charge out this time because they're weaker. And we're about the same strength as before. Maybe we isolate them in the area where... Because we can't spread fire anymore, so that's out of the question. Maybe we can just, like, condense them up in a smaller space, and then we try to hit them a little bit with our shots. That, that could be a solution here. And yeah, they do try to charge us, we have this. This feels completely useless. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. Uh, probably still fire. The morale damage is still good. Yeah, we have them condensed in one spot. Maybe we can land a few hits, kill some units. We might opt for a cycle siege just because the weather's bad. It's almost like we're declining the attack. I could kind of justify it. Oh, okay, actually, I should aim for these because the misses will hit units. I'm pretty sure. And once we get rid of them, we can use our archers. Uh, if this wasn't on fire, it wasn't raining, this would be so much easier. Come on. Give me 1% here. Two hits, still 31%. Okay. 40, 44, 43. Rain's killing it. Come on, get over 50. You can do it, I believe you. Seventy-four. There we go. That's actually on fire. We have three shots left. Third. Okay. Okay. That's a good hit. Oh, they did it. We have one shot to spare. Can we somehow burn the barricade? That might be too much to ask, actually. Um. Where's the cavalry? Give you a best shot. Okay. So. He's done. I'm going to put him right at the edge here because we might retreat back. We need this win. There's no negotiation. If we have to cheese it, we will cheese it. But I prefer if we don't cheese it. So we'll see what we can do here. If we stand a little bit this way, we can avoid their archer's range and still shoot our archers at them. Or we can technically just trade fire because we're 5v1 basically here. And they're standing kind of weird. We kind of line them up here and just give them that command. We should be able to shred them before they have a chance to shred us. Die, 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 die. They pulled back. This is very interesting. I mean, we need to burn it. We can't walk through that. Stop. Uh, back a little in case they're charging at us which I doubt but in case don't chase too hard it's not worth it
Maybe you're a little too close. Yeah, they thought about it. The general's not near them, so they have no extra morale boost. They're facing the wrong way, and we're just trying our best to kill them. And now they're facing the right way. And then the wrong way. Come on, murder these guys. It's very important we kill them. It's a 30 unit size. If we get them down to 6 units, they will be just gone. It's so tanky against range. Alright. We gotta burn down. Alright. Everyone can stop. General nearby? Everyone feel better, please? Barely. Tired. Alright, they're rested now. Difficulty modifiers. We're hit with a difficulty modifier in battle too here. Damage sustained others. See, what is others here? I don't understand. We're the one issuing the night battle. Yeah, I don't feel advantage here. They bounce back because they met him and suddenly they have 46 morale, which is nuts. They left their leader, so they shouldn't have morale bonuses at all. We should be able to shred them. Yes, 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 yes. Save your ammo. And how are these guys even tired? They've been standing here shooting at things. No, 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 no. Misclick. Almost killed ourselves. We just need to kill him, because he we can kill with just our general. Come on. Only eight of you. Alright, one volley here. And stop. And while the fire is fresh on the ground. Give him a few charges here. The generals nearby. Charge out, charge out, charge out. Get out. He bumped into us. Is army loss really not going to bother him? Like what about outnumbered? What about army loss? Is there no modifier that affects him? He's not unbreakable, so I don't understand why it's so difficult. I mean, we'll empty every single arrow we have, which is not a lot, but that's really all we can do here. Oh, 
Is fire not? Friends routing. Under missile fire. Ah. Flaming shot. Four morale points. Discouraged by the ability of flaming shot. I got hit finally by arrow. Yeah, refreshed. Damage sustained. I mean, we would just continue. We would not go in and charge him. That's suicide. We would just shoot all our arrows at him. I mean, just doesn't care, huh? Still 63. Not a bother in the world. Well, we're done. We're gonna take the draw because we're not risking losing this fight. It's too important with Utu on the horizon. So, if we're gonna see them, you know, in the third siege, then we're gonna see them in the third siege. So, we're gonna cut out the rest. Last 13 minutes here, I'm gonna get another draw here. Alrighty, well the first draw was more of a necessity, this one is definitely uh, forced by us because we really need this win. I don't know how we lost 30 units though, uh, but regardless, we gotta keep going. Alrighty, so we finally can get a Pyrrhic victory here with a delegate and I think we will do that because it's such a nightmare to fight them. And doesn't matter what condition our troops are, for us to beat this army, it's going to be looping. Uh, it's going to be a lot of exploiting here, just try to get us through the early game. Not ashamed of it, it's a tough fight. And it's also just a tough setup for us, so we'll take this win. Easy win when we can have it. There we go. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And we will be occupying Bak. So, for us to turn this around where we can hold out against them, we need some generals. We need some good generals. We have reached the maximum number of recruitment we can have this turn. Okay, so that's tricky now. It's a large town. If we opt for a wall, that's how we lose. But if we don't opt for a wall, not a lot of trees. Looping would be difficult given the units we have. Right, we wouldn't even have a retinue here. I could also just recall him and almost pretend we didn't take it because this looks extremely dangerous at this point and we can just reset our army here sweep through down south grab this back and grab this get a reset basically hmm it's not a bad idea actually Eighteen. Wow. Everyone's in trouble. Well, right, because like Yujin will be coming off back uh, the cooldown next turn. I'm not going to keep him here. I think that's too dangerous. And yeah, we can save money by just getting rid of all the units. I know it's a level 5 trebuchet, but really, we don't need it. And we get him out of here. And we keep this as is. If we can somehow get one piece of land, we will finish our mission. <laughs> I don't think we can. Yep, that's not happening. Anyone else though? Oh, we can get a... Oh, I have an idea. Okay, hold on. Do we want to trade with Cai Mao? Do we want to trade with Sun Ce? Sun Ce would have tea. We already sure. gave him one food. So we can't give him food. I can give him an item. 1.9, we can give him a bronze item. This is not great, so take that. And... Is there any other item we can give him? I could give him this, just because we have so many good weapons. And then maybe he'll pay us a little bit more. And we can even things out here.
Okay, 136. Alright, two trade route. One less army on the field. No aggression pack, that's positive. Are you kidding me? Pay us, please. Pay us, please. Yeah. Maybe 90. 88. 87. 86. There we go. Who else? Who else? Ma Tong? Yeah, sure. 0.6 is a little low. I don't think I can get paid for that. I guess if he goes to war with us, it's not too bad. Hunswit, maybe. Take one food. There we go. Maybe we can squeeze a little bit more. Nope. Wow, can't believe we're seeing 2k here. Our right, war with the Han's over. We got the Tycoon. All right, our solution here could be that we put an administrator in, like Yu Jin. But he doesn't have Unbreakable, which is a small problem. Because if he just loses morale, then he would just lose and get killed here. Which is not what we want to see. We did have that one general who had... Stubborn, right? Do we still have him? We're looking for someone with Stubborn. Someone who is Stubborn. Not Honorable. Stubborn. Stubborn? Stubborn? No. Hmm. What other solution do we have? Anyone with this skill? Meditation? I don't think so either. Everyone's at least is injured. Or not in a great shape. We can now kind of get him killed actually. <laughs> For the air situation to be resolved peacefully. Right, so I think maybe we just lose this if we have to end up losing it. We don't have to exempt this anymore. Because we're going to lose the capital part anyways. Alright, anyways, let's upgrade this to... We can rush 900 and then we can build this, no problem. Yes, no problem. Eight turns. Rushing cost is insane, but with our income now, it's actually possible in a few turns. And so if we if we get to the point where we meet 15 factions and we own one more region, let's say we capture that or capture that somehow pretty quickly with the army, then we can definitely think about just inheriting. Anyways, that's a lot of wishful thinking. He's not gonna leave us, but he's not very happy. We can make him a little bit happier, but that's all we can really do here. All right, let's continue here. He steal, but he wants the house. No. All right, Utubu is here. There's really no looping him with this force. Do we just let him take it and then we go in and attack the salt and lumber and thus securing? But then, see, the second we lose this, we lose the trade deal we just made because we need a harbor to make a trade deal, but we can't really hold this. Yeah, we would just have to lose it. That's fine. Or at least I know where he is. Ooh, Xinhuan Sanjie got destroyed. We met a new faction. Uh, we're gonna try to be in good terms with our son. 
Would you take a food, please? Be a pal. Don't fight us. We have plenty on our hand right now. Like, way too much on our hand. Ooh. We didn't know you were this friendly. Okay, maybe not so friendly, but still pretty good. Alright, she has no supplies whatsoever. She's going to be in trouble, but come on, meet us some factions. Alright, we had that trade route, but that's gone. How many turns is it going to take us to get to, like, here? Three turn-ish? Okay. We can do that. Overseer is nice. It's not game-breaking, but it's nice. Uh, Nguyen will probably be our best capture general, right? So, old man's coming out. What about the group here? They disappeared on us? Okay. So I'm gonna just have him lead. We don't need to summon too many generals in case we don't need them. Okay, we're gonna withdraw real quick. Well, actually, 79% for Pyrrhic. Can we get it better than Pyrrhic? Alright, maybe we can get Yuzin then. Because we want better than Pyrrhic victory here. And that should be the difference maker. Right, decisive, 91% now. So that's much better. So we jumped, oh, like what, 12% based on the victory conditions? Delegate here. 91 is good enough to delegate. Not going to stress too much about it. If we don't get it, we don't get it. And we got it. So, all good. Uh, money? He ranked up. He is administrator, so get your administrator skills. Get your administrator items. We got ourselves an overseer, which is great. Um, you're going to take that. And your item is going to go... I don't know who it's going to go on, but you're going to take that. Recall for healing. Recall for healing. We can probably tone it down now. Yeah, food's going to do okay. Income's going to do okay. We're still missing two uh, counties. Doesn't get along with a lot of people. So I feel like I should have Liu Zhang on the field. Leader of army also get the 10 points of satisfaction for leading armies. Rivalry with passive. He has rivalry with with father. Oh dear. Okay, that's not an easy thing to fix. Um. Sure. The idea is we pump out an army, strong enough to beat both of these, and also fight him, and we need to do it within the next year, which which is possible. We're gonna cancel this. Oh no, we need the food. We can't cancel that. Satisfaction hurts right now because she's on cooldown. She'll be boosting back up and everyone should get 10 more points. We should survive, barely. Hmm. Alright, it's Autumn. We know where he is. That's very important. He burned it down here, which is fine. So we just take these two. Take this first. With Yu Jin's help, we should be able to handle it. Right, we should be able to handle it. Not building up anything until we finish the trade offs. But yeah, I think we're good. Nothing to do. 1.2 now, huh? 
No, no, no. Hey, us. Anything. Anything you can spare. We're literally begging. Oh, 2.2. That's promising. Oh, literally 50. That's fine. Point A is too low. Ooh. I don't want to get dragged into war, though, in case he actually do declare independence. Alright. Did we meet any new factions? No, we still need two more. We still need two more. We still need one more city. Okay. Let's keep going. Alrighty. So, it's winter season. A couple of new characters. Assassin. Humble assassin. Selfless, humble, friendly assassin. Uh, we can definitely use her. Two more levels till we get Poison Volley. Obviously, since her high level, we might need to give her a position uh, to keep her happy. But we can probably make an exception for her uh, just to grab him to help us out. And the goal is pretty straightforward. We are hoping to get these two counties so that we can get 10 regions. We're hoping to meet a few new factions. Just two more would do it for us. She has no supplies, so attrition is fine. She just can't die here. And then we're no longer rebel farming, which might be a mistake now, but uh, we're okay. I think we're at a point where we're almost to inheriting. We got a countdown now. Five more turns. We have to get it done in five more turns. If we don't, we'll just miss out on the awesome inheritance bonus, and that'll be part of the challenge. Uh, we saved up quite a few inspiration, uh, aspiration. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, tide over the trade-off next episode. So until then, bye!